Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at this error. Error code 20006, start service failed. 1058, I found it while playing Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, but if you're playing any online games, there's a good chance you have the program called Easy Anti-Cheat. It is designed to combat in-game cheating. You may not know you have it, but if you're playing games online, you probably do, and that is the problem with this. You can uncheck error report and close the game, which doesn't work anyway. Big surprise. And uh, you can look online, but there was no answers. And if you're here, you already know that the answers are a nightmare. I'm going to cover what worked for us first and then what apparently worked for a bunch of other people because the solutions I found did not work. So what we did was we press your Windows key plus your S to bring up search. Start typing in services until you see services take a look down here just scroll down when it opens up to easy anti-cheat and if you have it on disabled imagine our surprise because I just played the game a month or two ago and it was fine so I don't know why it's disabled we will double click that if you're disabled if you're automatic leave it alone and move on and just move it from disabled to automatic click OK and close it now, a bit of annoyance during the video, but just to show you it worked, I'm going to run the game in the background. We'll pop back and forth as needed. And we'll go to the next one if that did not work for you, if you're automatic already. Leave it alone. Come on down. Here was the other thing. Making sure the easy anti-cheat executable is where it's supposed to be. Apparently, this worked for a lot of people. So, with your Windows Explorer, it expects it to be in Windows System. I don't have it here. So... We can come down to SysWow64, find easyantichcheat.exe, and you can click on it, right click and drag over to system, let go, and you can copy it here. So just click on copy here. Now see if the game runs for you. While that seemed like a good idea, it did not work for me because I didn't have it. I actually copied it here. This is guesswork now, so you're on your own if you want to follow me around town. It's gotten a lot of people in trouble before, so why should you be any different? question was I didn't have it. So I went to Program Files x86, and I found Easy Anti-Cheat, and I just basically copied, which is the other way you can do it, copy, and then I brought it down. The only reason you saw it there was because I put it there. So you can come here, right-click, and paste. There you go. So, those are the two problems, solutions should fix your problem. This one worked for me. All else fails, just make sure that easy anti-cheat executable is where it is supposed to be. See Windows system. If those fail, and we're just throwing stuff at the wall at this point, because those two should have done. Maybe your antivirus is conflicting with it. Try to disable it. Usually it depends on what you're using. Uh, in my case, I got Defender, so virus and threat protection. And I can go to virus pre threat protection settings, shut off real-time protection. That would help me here. Uh, your antivirus, same thing, right-click. Look for your settings, and you should be able to either whitelist it or disable it just to verify that that's your problem. And finally, uninstall and reinstall Uplay. Another one that you shouldn't have to do, and I did all of these, by the way. And I did uninstall it. The nice thing about uninstalling Uplay is it saves your games and it saves your settings optionally by default when you uninstall it. So you don't have a lot to lose here by doing that. So there you go. Stick with the services first. Make sure NA cheats where it's supposed to be. And work your way down. Steps 1, step 2, step 3, step 4. You'll have your problem fixed, hopefully, before you finish step 1 in a matter of minutes. I hope this helped you. If it did, please click subscribe. Check out our other videos. And as always, we thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.